everybody, this is Pramita here and uh, I'm going to give a flip through of these two journals. Now these two I had made quite a while back uh, and I think I have shared some pictures on Instagram and some Facebook groups uh, but I had not, uh, you know, uh, quite ready to list them in my shop. Let's put it this way because once I finish, um, I just go through it front and back and see if I can add anything else or if I think I will add anything else um, and around this time I was uh, trying to take a little break from making big journals very elaborate ones and this was right after I had come back from my holiday and um, I thought I would start off with a smaller project just to take off the you know the kind of pressure of working on a big journal uh, so I had made these two yummy kind of uh, pouch journals. Now these are extremely lovely. Let me tell you one thing. They are just soft and squishy and they have been, uh, they are actually fabric pouches. So um, they are very similar but not same. Um, <laughs> I know this sounds very cliched because uh, almost always when I make two journals or three journals, I always say that these are very similar uh, but not same. It's the same out here. Um, they'll have similar ele elements but uh, they will not be identical. So I have named one of them as Bloom and the other one is Cherish. Uh, so I'm going to go through each of them. They are of same size. I exactly I don't know um, how big or how small they are, but we'll go through it because it's been a while since I, you know, um, opened these pouches. So let's see what's inside. So this is actually a sari silk, and what I've done is I have uh, tried to pull in this pinkish color and um, use this light pink sort of sari silk and. Uh, the inside, let's see, now the inside is lined with a vintage tablecloth, uh, as you can see, and it has a batting inside, so it's very soft and you can uh, reuse it uh, for, you know, if you want to store anything, your ephemera, or maybe if you want to use it as your makeup pouch, you can do that. And these, uh, these are stamped with um, archival ink and they're pretty sturdy they have been stitched on so uh, no worries about that so uh, what I'm gonna do is um, and the front part over here I have done a lace trim so that the edge is smart I mean you know pretty stiff and you can handle that so uh, and the back is absolutely lovely These, this fabric is absolutely gorgeous and I don't know, I didn't have the heart to use it. I had it in my stash for a while, but I thought I'd use it. And uh, uh, this inside is a, once again a mini bag journal uh, from mini journal. Because sometimes, you know, you don't want to uh, use a very big journal or, um, you know, the stress of filling out a big journal sometimes takes a toll on us. So we want to um, go back to something very simpler. Uh, just like I had uh, done in this. So this measures um, this measures 5 inches by um, 6 inches without the lace trimming. So, and if you add the lace trimming then it's a bit you know long. So what I've done is I've used a paper bag. Now my, the paper bag I've used is white in color. So I've tried to keep everything, you know, very clean sort of look. Um, so here you have, I've kept the paper bag, uh, you know, envelope intact. And I have stitched along the other side. And um, what I've done is I have reinforced the cover with cardstock. So this part is reinforced. And then this is the spine, which I've reinforced with the fabric that I have used as the pouch. Um, the fabric in the pouch and uh, that's the back so the papers I have used are from Antique Papery I'll put a link to her shop because I've used a bunch of kits and um, I'm not sure which one are which so let's be honest I would not misguide you I'd just put a link to her shop and you can see she has some lovely yumminess 
um of papers i love her artwork it's very florally just like i love and um very fresh uh so that's it and the cover is you know i have used one of her uh kit pages and the inside is also very um so as i said i have not used a single kit i have used a lot of elements from her uh shop so i've used some layered technique over here i've used some uh, circle uh things she has in her shop uh, these are some journal cards again made from antique papery um you know uh journal card set that she has this is a vintage book page botanical book page so i wanted to keep the you know the floral image intact so i what i did was i added a vellum pocket so that you can read through this even if you if you so desire and this is a tag that goes in again image from antique papery almost everything is from antique papery this is another page so here i have some tags and um stuff from the shop here is another page i just love the artwork uh, sherry does an awesome job and here is another tag that you can journal on to and this is a cut off from a page uh, over here i've done um, a pocket sort of thing this is not from antique papery this is from andrea's kits and this is a small fold out pocket sort of thing and here you have some ephemera and at the back you have some more ephemera and this is actually an envelope which has another so you can if you want you can keep it as a floating envelope or you can um stick it on a page you know whatever you feel like so that goes in here um and at the back there is another pocket with some ephemera in just as i said uh, almost everything i think this page is from andrea's the large kit from artemis and this is another page from the antique papery elements so this is i've done some collage over here now these were cut offs from the book page you know the botanical book page i had used and i didn't want to throw it away i i thought that i'd use it as a you know backdrop of making a collage and i did just that and it turned out pretty well so you don't need to throw away your cut offs you can use them as bases so this is also from antique papery and i really love what, how sherry makes everything um so affordable like i think her kits come for 1 dollar or something or just some change so around 2 dollars so that's pretty affordable and this is a cd envelope that uh i have turned into a pocket and here goes the journal card and you can journal at the back also this is a book page here you have some collage uh, these are snippets that i made and then i've added them on pockets so this is a spool journaling option sherry has so this is another image from her kits i really have a lot of items printed out from her shop i need to make some more journals from her papers this is another from her kits and this is also from a kit page and i really love the florals just look how pretty they are and uh, some tea dyed paper and here i have some book page now i did i what i did was i punched these holes you know just to give some extra interest because i love uh, things like this but i didn't have any paper which would look like this so i decided to make my own um so this is again a pocket top tuck and these are some journaling ephemera so this is the middle page and how lovely this looks i really really love this and so here is a side tuck again these squares also come in her kits so you can check them out so this is an extra sort of thing edge that i've added and you can you know this is actually a tuck spot so you can put something over here um 
this is a pocket again one of my snippet collage and here I have not done anything because you can basically journal on these pages and if you don't want to then you can add some pockets um, here I have done some you know very random edged pockets these are very easy to make and this is a journal tag that I made again some collage that I had in my stash <coughs> so this is another journal card that goes inside the CD case so there's actually I have joined two CD cases with some tape masking tape and then I have stitched it you know as a page so you have two uh, CD cases CD envelopes one on this side and the other on that side so but I had to trim this down a little bit because this was pretty big and here I have another of those pockets uh, some vellum this is a top tuck here I have a belly band I created a belly band with all sorts of scraps and then this came in one of the kits so this I think this was in my stash somewhere take time and to stop and smell the flowers so since there are so many flowers over here and this is again a side tuck this is from the botanical book and this is a vellum pocket all the pockets come with some ephemera or the other this is a fold out page I've not done anything this is again some tag that I made with ephemera from antique papery this is the back page and that's how it closes up and the, it goes into this um, this bag so I am not sure how many pages there are just let me give it a count one two three four five six seven eight Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this has 60 pages, surprisingly, because it looks so tiny, but it has 60 pages front and back. And um, this can be your on the go journaling option also. Like sometimes, you know, you, if when you're waiting for someone or you're taking your uh, children to classes, you can just carry it along and then journal over here so this is cherished and these these are going to be listed by the time you see this they are going to be listed of course and they are going to be listed uh, you know singly like uh, cherish will have a separate listing and bloom will have a separate listing because otherwise it becomes very confusing for me sometimes and for the seller uh, buyer also so i'm going to have two separate listings so this is a little bit on the darker side uh, this is how the back looks and I think this looks pretty nice and I've used a dark wine colored uh, tie for this so as I open this up this is very similar again um, some lace trim at the edge just to give it a shape and bloom stitched around everything and this has a paper backing sort of thing just to give it a little bit of stiffness and you can see it's pretty roomy inside so if you want to put something else you can do so your journaling supplies maybe your ephemera in a separate pack you can do that so this is uh, this is bloom and um, this is also made from a paper from uh, antique papery but the back has been done with mini bits and pieces that I had left over and again the spine has been reinforced with the fabric that I had used in the pouch so just to give it a kind of cohesiveness and this also measures uh, 5 by 6 um, has 60 pages and very very similar to the previous one uh, but not exactly same so here I have another journal card and this is the journal card that goes in and this is the front of the journal how lovely this image is and I thought that this as opening part is absolutely breathtaking I absolutely love these pages and I thought I should not be holding them I had printed these out quite a while back but I was 
holding them <laughs> just waiting for the correct correct uh, project to come along sort of thing so here again you have these journal cards these are all from antique papery uh, now one thing is they come in this small sizes so if you want you can just layer up on a bigger piece of cardstock and um, make a bigger card and you can just uh, keep it small also if you have less space so this is side tuck sort of thing again CD case it's very similar and uh, but not same another journal card over here some collage that I had done over here again same on the back side you have some journaling card vellum look at this page isn't it lovely so um, here again the botanical book uh, cutoffs I have used it as collage pockets so I've used some elements from antique paperies kits so again some tags inside the pocket you can use them again some snippets so this is another page this is a side tuck and you have some cards journal cards in it here you have some butterfly decoupage that I have done following you know GI Kerr's um, gesso technique this is a tag again some elements from the papers now if you might think that this is a bit shiny but my lighting is so uh, you know so weird uh, like I have an overhead light and that actually creates this kind of thing and the printing that I do is uh, uh, professional printing it's like um, in the books that you have and that's one of the reasons why I have such clarity in the pictures like uh, the images are really really to die for if you touch the pages if you have ever bought a journal from me from me um, where I have used digital papers you will know that what I'm talking about I, I have uh, switched over to professional um, printing and that's what gives uh, you know some are inkjet printers like this one but most of the pages and elements are all from uh, laser prints so that is why the images are so so clear this is another page from a kit this is again a fold out page okay so this is a pocket and just as I said they have similar elements but they are not same um, so this is another belly band this is a journal card that tucks inside this is not from antique papery so here I have some journal options again some tag grid page some image from the kits and this is the back so I thought that this is a very dark red sort of color and um, this will be the perfect vehicle to vehicle to keep this journal in and um, just as I said it has ample space inside so you can um, you know put things in so that's that and it has been lined with a thin layer of batting so it's very cushiony kind of uh, you know structure it has a very cushiony kind of structure so that's that and this closes up with this so uh, I will have these two listed as bloom and cherish you can check these out and thank you everybody for watching bye have a great day